Hi everyone, it's Zoe from Book Reviews with Zoe and today's video is my Ping Pong Athon TBR which is created by Bonds Book Reviews and let's get into it. So Crystal's TBR game which is ping, is, involves ping pong and she usually does it in August but because there was stuff going on we rescheduled it to rescheduled it to September so this is my TBR I haven't done a video for a while been super busy and let's see I'm gonna aim for five throws five, five prompts first and let's hope that I don't have too many extra throws but let's get into it Do Right, hopefully you can see me, not really, but you can see the things at the front. And let's go with throw number one. Yes! So, we got throw number one, we got... independent if you can see yep and then we'll press that prompt this one and right so three number two let's see if we use the same ball and let's see if we can get it in yes <laughs> so We got for the second prompt, we got newest edition. So, and then we'll put that one. We have this one. Right, row number three, and let's see if I'm three times lucky and get it in the first row. So, from memory, that is, you got to combine a prompt, I think. Yeah, because it's on the same cup. You're never going to read them. So, yeah. so we got weapon, and then replace that one there, and then. Let's switch around the cups. And that'll do. Alright, so we landed in the same cup twice. So I think I've got to combine this one with the next prompt that I land on, I'm assuming. So let's go. First miss, second miss, third miss, fourth miss, and I'll pick that one in that cup. And it landed in the cup and fell off the table. So Let's see what that one is. Crown. So I'll be combining weapon and crown. So that works. So let's replace that prompt. And then. Right. So that was four misses. So if I miss again, I have to add another throw. Another book or throw um because we'll get five if they get reset so let's see how we go so we're adding that up like that is that's miss five so we're resetting two Two 
use the locks. We'll love this. So slice that one. So prompt number, go there for book number five. And we got four. We got it, I think it was three misses and got on the fourth. So we could fit another two before we have to add another one. Oh. Ah. Ah. Got three misses. Four misses. And then five misses. Six misses. So we're adding another prompt and let's just start fresh with the misses um, and all the cat wants to play. Um, I'll put that here for her and let's go with book number, book number five. Yes, madam. In that one, and we got that one. Oldest published. All right, so we're gonna go row number book number six with the cat in the way. That's okay. It's okay if I haven't got any punishments or warts, that's okay. And so that is for number six, I think. Let's see what it was. And I feel like I landed it just landed on this cup, so it's another series continuation. So, book number six. Nope, hold on, go away. Oh, and this one had a reward. So, let's see what the reward one is with these ones here. So, it's swappable, so that's okay. Final book, let's go. Miss, one miss. Got to be that one, so. That one. And that's it for the throws. Right, so let's get into the books that I chose for the prompts that I landed in Book Pong the Ping Pong Athon. Um, and let's see what they are. So, so these books are not in order, already. like the prompts are not in order with the books, but that's okay. Um, I got a swap at the end, so you know I feel like it during the month. I can always swap a book for one of these props. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do with that one. So for the double up one that I got, which was a series continuation, and the reward was swap a book. However, I'm not gonna swap a book. 
But the series continuation that I'm going to go with is Amari and the Great Games by B.B. Alston, which is the sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers, which I absolutely adored and loved. The middle grade, it's such a beautiful middle grade, and I can't wait to finally get to the sequel and continue this series. The next one is, was booktube fave and so i've gone with because this one was probably all around everywhere when it came out and so i reckon the booktube fave was at one stage is the atlas six by olivia blake i've not read it i really want to read it and see if it's actually any good um what i know of it is it's about six extraordinary musicians five chances to win one secret society so it sounds good the next prompt I landed on was newest edition. So I'm interpreting this as like my most recent purchase. And I know Reading Room, Reading with Ren is going to love the fact that this is my most recent purchase. And that is Raven Song by TJ Clune. I absolutely um, adored Wolf Song, thought it was absolutely amazing and I really enjoyed it. So I am really looking forward to continuing this series and reading Raven Song and its cover is absolutely stunning. So the next prompt I got was Independent and so I'm going to go with Broken Bonds by Jay Bree because this is self-published by Jay Bree and I got this at Rare, the first book because I've never read a Jay Bree and the queue to get this signed was ridiculously long um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Jay Bree is all about and seeing if this could be our new favourite author. And the next prompt I got was... Oldest Published. Uh, so I had done a little twist on this because earlier today I actually pulled out a whole heap of books from my TARDIS TBR but I didn't film it because there's about four different readathons that I'm doing this month in August and so I just wanted a whole heap of books that I could narrow my choices down and so from that list the oldest published was The Second Empress by Michelle Moran which is Apparently the court of Napoleon, every woman must fend for herself. I don't know anything about this. I'm assuming it's historical romance. Um, this was came in a book, Gross of Mystery Box, and this was published in 2012. So, yeah, that was the oldest one. And the last book was surprisingly hard. The last two props, which were combined props of the Crown, and whip it. I went through all of my physical books and found a lot had weapons. None had crowns, even though they had lots of the book covers were gold or royalty inspired. So I've gone for, because I'm twisting it, Swords of Gods and Men's Men by Snorgan. So, Norella, I'm going to put his name. I feel like this is a translated book. I feel like. Um, it is book one of the Valhalla book saga. I got this in a book, grocer book, mystery box. I have no idea what it's about. The reason why I'm stretching it a bit is there's weapons in it, like there. There. And I'm interpreting his battle helmet as some form of crowd because I'm assuming they're Vikings. So they're strong people and you know, he might have been royalty, I don't know. So let's go with it. So this is my ping pong of on TBR, which is fantastic. I hope it works for my adventure of on TBR and I hope it works for my Pages and pages with page readathon, which is Swoon, Sufferathon, or something, and there's also Thick Thighs Readathon hosted by Sash Reads. So I'm hoping that TBRs for them videos will get filmed as well, and you'll get to see them too. So like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all later. Oh.